Bro is back in the building. Thumbs up, keep familiar. Dowd, what are you telling me, bro? Because you've been coming no, out no, with no. as well. So we're going to get into that one. <laughs> nobody's nobody's going to talk about Eddie and Katia. Right? <laughs> nobody's going to talk about Eddie and Katia. But let's get into some of the other stuff. Uh, I feel like the striker conversation is over. We can, we can move on from there if everyone agrees. Um, <laughs> Because I need to talk about the Kai Havertz concerns. I don't know if you guys have concerns, but it seems like everybody's having some concerns about Kai Havertz at this moment in time. And the reason why people are having concerns about Kai Havertz is because the guy has had what one preseason game, and and it did not look like it did not look like he knew what he was doing in the position that Mikel Arteta was playing him in. I know it's going to take time, and we're going to have to have a level of patience with Kai Havertz. But will he be given? Will he be given the patience that? The, how long will you guys be given a signing of Kahavert? How long do you think it will be before people are yelling and screaming, "Get, get this guy out of the team"? Because I personally, for me, I'm I'm giving the guy at least a year. I think 65 million pounds is a lot of money, of course, to make for any signing. But the fact is, we're signing him with a plan. Mikel should have a plan for him. We should have an idea for him. And I just feel like the level of hate that he's getting right now is ridiculous. He's 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 going to come into this team. He's going to have to figure out how to play in this team. But of course, people are going to want him to hit the ground running and they're going to look and judge him off his time at Chelsea. I think it's going to be quick. Uh, it's going to be very harsh if we judge him off his time at another club. Let's judge him off how he does at Arsenal. And for see, now, what you, see what you just said there, Miguel, right? You're going to give him a year. Yeah, that's fine. But that's also why I say we need another midfielder because we ain't got a year. We ain't got time for this guy to be settling in and all this. All our signings need to come in and hit the ground running. And that includes Declan Rice as well, right? We ain't got time for all this. They've got, what, two more games to get themselves building a bit of a relationship between each other. And then as soon as that season starts, we need to hit the ground running because there is a lot of pressure on Arsenal this season. Mikel Arteta, Arsenal, the players, the lot. We need players that are hitting the ground running. Now, Arteta decided to spend 65 million on Kai Havertz. This is Arteta's guy. But Arteta has to make the best decision for the club. If Kai Havertz is not ready, don't play him. Don't play him. It's as simple as that. If Declan Rice is not ready, don't play him. Yeah, we, we, we ain't got time. We can't be affording, oh, little mishaps here and there and that. You, we see last season, right? First half of the season, we took 50 out of 59 points in the first 19 games. And we still didn't win the league. So that is how almost perfect you have to be to be able to beat Manchester City to a league title. We ain't got time for players to be settling in. Oh, I'll just give them time. I heard Arteta in his press conference the other day. Well, when they play 55 times together, they'll be better. Well, of course they will. But have you got that sort of time, bro? Do you know what I mean? You haven't. Bro, bro there's, there's that. players that Arteta's not got the best out of or the most out of that he's brought. You know, he signed Rob Holding to an extension. He, he ain't got the best out of him. We were playing Kivio because Rob Holding started to drop stinkers. You're looking at Pepe. He ain't a complete player. But tell you what, he's got better attributes than this guy. I've seen more from Pepe. He's not a complete player. No, so, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's at the end that. of the let's day, let me, tell you, let me tell you this. People, the only thing yeah, that people are talking about Kai Havertz is, is, is his height. Why didn't he score his header against Man United? The guy ain't good enough. When you look at Lekonga, Fabi Vieira, yeah, Nung Tavaj, you look at Cedric, Tommy Yasu, the majority of them, he has not got the best out of them and he's brought them to the club. Yeah, and a lot of them have a bigger reputation than Kai Havertz. Yeah, uncomfortable conversations. Ooh, you know, Kai, 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 Kai Havertz, Kai Havertz. For me, one second, one second. Let me have a thing about Kai Havertz. I'm, I'm Kai, Havertz, Havertz. Kai Havertz is in. Kai Havertz is, is someone that's been underused so much at Chelsea. So much at Chelsea. He's not a target man. He's not number nine. Arteta's Arteta, he's he said in his conference, press conference recently, he said, he's a midfielder. I'm gonna play in midfield, trust me. And Arteta, he's not gonna he's not gonna go into another season where it's make or break the season where we have to be challenging for the title, yeah. challenging for the Champions League, and bringing in someone like Kai Havertz, where he's unsure about. He's seen him in training. I also do a lot of a lot of um uh, excessive research on their players and they're, they're gonna sign. Kai Havertz oh, really? so so we did, was that, did, did we do a lot of excessive research on uh, Marquinhos? Because he's deemed not good enough. With you no, nah, but these not, these players, these players, players on the low. I know, but... Did we do that for, also for Lokonga? Because we had a light bench, and a lot of that light bench were players that he, this manager brought into the club. Lokonga, Fabio Vieira. Why is he not getting the best out of these, man? Because you brought him in. So if you're doing extensive yeah. research, why are you buying players that are either not good enough 
And as part of why this fan base said we've got a light squad or players that are deemed already by this manager not good enough and is out on loan. Okay, but well, some of these players, the some of these players take a long, okay, but some of these players they take a long, a longer time to adapt to the Premier League. Lokonga, he hasn't really adapted to playing the way the way we play, but that hasn't worked out. Not every sign is going to work out. Fabio Vieira has been here for one season. It's, it takes a, it takes some players two three seasons to get to their best level. Hundred million pounds, I'm expecting it to work out because no, but he's he's played. No, yeah, he, he, before, of, but if you look at of, it, we got rid of a club legend in Wenger because it wasn't good enough, bro. So don't tell me that. When no, but these young players, than this manager, if you spend the money and he's come out multiple times, coming out in Sky, Edu and Arteta both come out their own words. We buy the players together. So if you're then end up buying the players, the Cronkies, which I got onto, have one been second. Back to you. Are you, you not trusting money. Arteta? We spend almost seven hundred million pounds. The transfer window isn't closed. I'm expecting major honors, and if not, then you need to go to another club because. While we stuck with this manager, we've missed out on managers like Simeone, proven winner. We've missed out on Ancelotti. Oh, he went to Everton, not good enough. Yeah, what did he do when he went to a big club with a big budget? Real Madrid won. So while you'd we stick have, with this manager, have Simeone... why are we peddling these excuses? We're missing out on big players and big managers. So I'm not hearing it. Football's for the hearing now. This is the third youth project I've seen at my football club. We had a youth project with Wilshire. We had a youth project with Fabregas. And now we're having another youth project, and all three of them have not seen a Champions League nor a Premier League during that time. So let's not forget that because I'm old enough to remember that. Win now or get up. Football's about winning. <laughs> I ain't hearing none of it. I ain't hearing none of it. That's crazy. This, That's this, crazy. Don't peddling the stuff that is popular in the Arsenal fan base. I'm not hearing none of this pukaria. Let's look at football and actually talk football. Third youth project. Zero major honours, yeah? But then this fan base wants to get onto Pochettino and say, oh, he's a yearly, nearly man. Man don't rate Pochettino, nearly man. So I'm not going to rate Arteta being a nearly man. Does anyone rate Brendan Rodgers being a nearly man with Sturridge, yeah? When he had Suarez and he was nearly won the Premier League. No, you don't rate them, man. So I'm not going to rate Arteta. Win or get out my club because we're supposed to be one of the elite clubs in, us, in England. And if you can't do it, then get out of my club. Simple as that. The club is the star. You see that crest? That is what it's about. Not this manager, not these players. I've seen Henri and Bird can't leave my football club. Don't talk to me about Havertz. Don't talk to me about Arteta. Win or get out. Acabo. That's it. One second, one second, one second. So the conversation has <laughs> really shifted from Kai Havertz. So from what I've denounced, you guys are concerned about Kai Havertz. Even Dawood, who's, who's backing him, is slightly concerned. But my question to you guys is, is it to the point where you're saying we should have never signed him in the first it place? Got, it got, every signing is a concern. Every signing, you, no signing is proven to be to work unless unless the person you're signing is a world-class player, proven player. Most signings that you sign is you always take a risk. Uh, Pep Guardiola took a risk on Jack Grealish. After that first season, Jack Grealish signed for Man City, did nothing the first season. Signed for £100 million. But if it was us as Arsenal fans, what we do as Arsenal fans is when we make a major signing, we don't give them time. They have to prove it now. If they don't prove it now, get out. Kai Havertz, it might take him a season, but at least we've got someone like Declan Rice that can play the eight position. And then what uh, Brandon said about signing the midfielder. Yes, I think we signed another midfielder in case Havertz take, needs a longer time, another season to prove into Premier League. Then we don't really need to rely on one player. This, this is what I like about Tate. He's got, signing players with that got different rotation. They can play in different positions. Kai Havertz, if it doesn't work in left centre mid, he can play on the wing. If he can't play on the wing, he's going to play as a false nine. So... I'm not too worried. I don't know how you're so negative, but yeah, we'll see. So, okay, cool. Versatility. You want to go with the versatility one? Cool. Let's go on to the versatility. Just because you can play multiple positions doesn't mean you play them well, first of all. Second of all, just because a player is versatile, they can only play one position at a time, which is why I made the argument on my channel that yes, Timber can play as a right back, but if he plays as a right back, we don't have adequate replacement as centre back. Holden ain't good enough. Wait, you do. Holden ain't hold enough. Kivio ain't, hold, ain't good enough. So, give you, no, give you, how, how can you say Kivio is not good enough? Come on, he's been able to. How is he good enough? Years. How is he good? Did we win the league? Did we win the league or did we have the most epic bottle you've ever seen? 19. We had to play Kivio as a right sided center back. We won as a right sided center back. He's not right sided center back. One what second. Are you I know it hurts your feelings, but it's reality. 93%, yeah? Any exam at uni, at school, that is what, an A? A star? What is that, A? Yeah, so don't tell me that we're 93% of the season, top of the league, and then we don't win it. Then we get an injury to a centre back. This guy ain't good enough. The guy's playing Rob Holden instead. He's not good enough. And it's down to him to prove me wrong. I didn't like Ben White as a centre back. The last season, he played as a right back. 
I started to rate the guy. Ramsdale didn't rate. Cool. He proved me wrong. I actually think he's a good keeper. So my mind can be changed, but I'm not going to start, oh, just rating a player just because. We've seen Kai Havertz at Chelsea. He ain't been good enough. He ain't been consistent enough. And at the end of the day, don't tell me all these positions he can play. What positions does he play well? Just because a player can fill in as, as a left back, does that mean he plays just as well as a midfielder? What's let all this start, versatility? We had a whole bench team. last season of versatility. Did we win the league? Is this, is this, is this, is this not, is this, is this not good enough? You got, you no, got no, Ben no, White, no. Tommy Asu, Timber, Jakub Kevor, Kieran Tierney, uh, Zinchenko, Gabriel Magalhães. You're telling me these eight defenders, is not good enough squad depth. Come on, bro. All right, do you want me to explain? We don't have adequate replacement in the striker position. We don't have adequate rotation for uh, Saka, which we play every game and he gets burnt out at the end of uh, every season. We don't have adequate rotation. For me, Havertz isn't good enough. We need more rotation for Odegaard. I think he was burnt out towards the end of last season. We got rid of Xhaka, so now you can play, you can play Rice in that position. Other than Rice, who else are you rotating? Jorginho? For me, I don't think he's good enough. I think he's over the hill. Then you have the centre-back position, which I said, Timber can cover centre-back or right-back. If we have two injuries to centre-back and right-back, the guy can only play one position at a time. You can be as versatile as you want. You can only play one position at a time. So either go get another right-back and make it and make Timber fill in centre-back or you get another centre-back and get Timber rotating in the, in the right-back position. So there is still business to be done. Not every area... But I like, the, I like the rotation that we see, like, for example, Martinelli-Trossard. That is what I want to see. You can debate which one you like more, but quality rotation. And we need that all around the pitch. Because last season, what was the excuse on this fan base? Oh, we had a light squad. We, had, we didn't have, the, basically saying we didn't have the quality because we did have Fabio Vieira to come on for Odegaard, but not good enough. We had Lokonga to come on for Xhaka, not good enough. We had Inketia to come on for Jesus, not good enough. And at the end of the day, I'll wait another season. And if this club doesn't do what they need to do, at the end of the day, a lot of these people, a lot of the, the, the few that are on the chat, they ain't going to come apologise to me. But two se three seasons in a row, right? It is what it is. Let's okay. see what this club does. I'm just going to say this. Manchester City and Arsenal last season were in a title race. And I would say our team has gotten better. We've replaced Granit Xhaka with De we, and all... Sorry, let me reword it. Granit Xhaka has left, and the only uh, and in that situation, that Granit Xhaka has left, one outgoing from the first team. We've had who come in? We've had Declan Rice come in, Timber come in, and Kai Havertz come in. We've added squad depth in certain situations. We now have Jorginho. We have uh, we have Thomas Partey. We have Declan Rice. We have Emil Smith Rowe. We have Jakub Kavor. We have Kai Havertz. We have Odegaard. All these guys who can play in that midfield three. Then you go to the defense. We have at least four players that can play at right back. We have at least five players who can play in those center half positions. And as we've already shown you, we have at least three or uh, four left backs. If you want to count Jakob Kabor and Tom Yasuo at left back, also when it comes to when it comes to right uh, when it comes to cover for B Bakayo Saka, really and truly at this moment in time, we're still linked to cover for Bakayo Saka in Mohamed Kudos, but he might be headed to Chelsea. And we're also linked to the guy like Olise, who's also linked to Man City. So until we bring them in, we can't really talk about them. But we still have Reese Nelson in-house. Trussard, who can also play on the right and the left. J Jesus, who can also play on the right. Let's not act like we don't have cover. We do have cover. It's not a situation where we're, we're basically saying in the worst case scenario where there's multiple injuries, we now have cover. This is why Mikel Arteta signed Timber. This is why we got KBR. This is why we got these guys. To say they're not good enough is, is, is extremely harsh as KBR has only been in the club for six months. Even though we didn't win the league, you can't go based off the fact that we didn't beat City. You can't, you can't blame it on KBR. You, I'm glad I'm glad about about I'm glad it's I'm glad 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 i Havertz isn't quality. Yes, I've already said there are some positions. I'm happy with the rotation. But at the end of the day, to improve, you look at what you need to improve on. You don't just look at, okay, th this is good, that's good, cool. But at the same time, Saka's position, uh, Jesus' position, we don't have the quality. To tell me that we have players that can fill in, we had players that could fill in last season. We didn't win the league. We didn't win in Europe. So we're still going in with the same problem. It's not just about rotation. It is about quality that you have on the bench. We talk about Man City and say, oh, they can put out two teams. Well, that's what we're up against. 
That's what we need to go and do. And at the end of the day, if we want to dine in the in, at the end of the day, when people say, "Oh, but we can't compete with Man City because of oil money," we'll compete last season. Last time I checked, Arsenal didn't have a, a, a oligarch by them last season, and we always competed. When we're hitting over, we're gonna by the time the transfer window is closed, we're hitting over seven hundred million. I hope Arteta does get the players that I want, but if he doesn't. These points still stand. We still got time to address it. I'm happy that we've done business early in the, in, in the transfer window. But as it still stands, we need other players to come in so that we're strong enough. That's it. I don't want to just compete in the Champions League. I actually want to win it. I got, I got that. I got that.